Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. I have this friend that is just always happy, always positive, always full of joy. And it's one, I, we all have this friend. Is, it, is that fair to say? We all have this friend that it's 5 a.m. and they've got a smile on their face and they're like, they can't wait to get started. Life is so good and so awesome. And I am kind of skeptical. Can it really be that good? Can your life be that good or can you be that happy? What are you on? Right? Coffee doesn't quite get me to that level of happy that this one friend of mine has. And it's fascinating to me as I watch my friend and I watch the things that they share about their life on, on social uh, and then also Sometimes it seems like, oh, that's just a persona, but I know this person well enough when I sit with them, even in the darkest of times in their life, they are able to see happiness, to find joy in really difficult spots. And as I've wrestled with this and I've tried to understand it for my own life and even tried to adopt it for my own life, the one thing that I've noticed, the one thing that I've learned, especially when I try to apply some of the principles of design thinking to my life and to my faith, is that there, it's a shift in mentality. It's not as simple as just try harder. Just choose. It's that simple. It's, there's something below it. And it's a mindset shift from scarcity to abundance. Design thinking always assumes that there is, there's an upside, that we can figure this out, and it's abundance thinking versus scarcity. And I know in my own life, this scarcity mentality has stolen so much joy from me because even when things are good, I'm worried that at some point it won't be. Or uh, you've heard maybe the phrase of, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. So even when things are awesome, we're still looking around for like, what's going to go wrong? Abundance mentality shifts that, that this is, everything's great and it can only get better. Back to a couple weeks ago, we talked about prototyping. And so this is just one iteration that will grow and get better. And I know in five years, it's not gonna look exactly the same, but I'm gonna grow, I'm gonna get better. And no matter what happens in my life, I'll continue to take a better version of myself. I'll be version 2.0 and then 3.0 as I go. And design thinkers have this abundance mentality. So instead of just choosing happiness, we should think about how do we choose abundance? And our faith is also asking us to do that. God is saying, there is nothing too big for me. There is nothing that I can't give you. There is no tap water that will run out in your faith. In Ephesians 3, 20 through 21, it says, God can do anything, anything that you know, far more than you could ever imagine. This is one of those verses that you should write on a mirror, that you should memorize, that you should have on your home screen or your phone. Because when that scarcity mentality creeps in, you're up against potentially having your joy and happiness stolen from you. But if you could have that reminder, God can do anything far more than you could ever imagine or guess or even request. One version even says, bigger than your wildest dreams. That's abundance mentality. This life is better than I could have ever imagined. Even in the middle of terrible stuff, I should be looking for what can I learn? And when I learn that, how do I take that into the next year, into the next year so that I can become version 2.0, 3.0 and continue to modify and fix? That's how design thinking applies to our faith. And that's how God challenges us to live out this life so that we actually can choose happiness by choosing abundance. This week, as you go into the week and you live out your life, you go into this crazy world where I know there's bad circumstances in your life and some of us are not where we want to be and some of us have that friend that's too happy and just gets under our skin because they can't possibly be that happy. Look into your life and see where you might be able to see abundance rather than scarcity and you might be able to be that friend in somebody else's life that yes, maybe a little annoying, 
but you give me hope that I can see the beauty in my circumstances and the abundance that God can and will provide. This week, look for abundance and trust God that he can do more than your wildest dreams.